some people say that time is the most important resource we have, it is also impossible to save, multiply or win back. Time is probably the embodiment of democracy and equality, everyone has only 24 hours a day and there is no money or effort that could change this law of nature. This is why all people should increase their efficiency and not allow this gift to go to waste. It is especially important in case of new or wannabe entrepreneurs, often people with a full-time job and family responsibilities, who try to set up their business in their spare time. The time goes by, the sacrifices are made and the results are not as phenomenal as expected. Why? First we need to realize who might be the thieves that consume our time, decrease our effectiveness and at the same time don't bring any extra value. Think if you make any of these mistakes. Is your workplace messy and loud? Is your communication always clear? Are all your phone calls and meetings really necessary? How much time do you spend on social media during your work hours? Or maybe all your notifications are on and you check your email every five minutes? These are just some examples of the distractions that make it really hard to focus on big and challenging tasks. We recommend that you work out who or what steals most of your time. Be honest with yourself. You will probably start to wonder how you can change and start to organize yourselves. The scientists, managers, leaders and coaches have already elaborated many principles that might help everyone manage their time and tasks see what works for other people. It will be hard for you to start working on your time management if you have no experience with time planning. You can start from a simple checklist and see if it helps you. If it does, you can look for more complicated ways to plan your tasks, planners, software, applications and journals. There are plenty of methodologies, see what works best for you. Just remember, it is good if the goals on your list are smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. One of the other methods of time planning is 60-40 rule. If you plan any activity and you assume that it will take you about three weeks, you should treat it as only 60% of the time you need. Which means that you should give yourself five weeks to complete the task. The extra 40% of the time should be scheduled as a time buffer for any problems, corrections, mistakes, extra activities. This will allow you to plan all the circumstances and avoid stress when you don't meet your deadline. The next method, called Pareto Principle says that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. It means that your work does not always have to be absolutely perfect. People usually see the general picture or idea and sometimes you are the only one who see all the perfect details that you have spent so much time doing. A very popular method is also the golden hour method. It does not have to be an hour, it might be more, but you should have a time during your day, for example from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, that you block all the distractions, you shut the door, turn off your phone, Facebook and email. You tell everyone that you are unavailable in these hours and you spend it on the most difficult and challenging task from your list. After that time you will have already accomplished the biggest goal and you can spend the rest of the day taking care of more pleasant responsibilities. The last method, Parkinson's law is the well-known principle that says. Work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. It means that if you have only one hour to complete the task you will do it almost as well as if you had the whole day. Having too much time for the task does not necessarily mean that you will do it better, sometimes it means that you will waste a lot of time. Here are some more hints that you might also find useful. Plan your day in the morning or in the evening before. Prioritize your tasks. Think whether watching TV or spending so much time on social media really makes you happier and more relaxed maybe it is worth revising your habits? It is good for your body and mind to have regular working hours. See if you can get up earlier and start your day with a nice routine rather than work at nights. Some people are early birds they just don't know it yet. 
Try not to work with an open email account and social media notifications. Choose rigid hours for these activities so they would not distract you all the time. Rest effectively if you work with a computer try to get up and move. If you work physically have a seat and relax. Find the best way to relax it will give you the energy for the rest of the day. The sleep should also be well planned make sure your room is quiet, dark, the temperature is not too hot and the air is fresh. Use modern devices, software, applications to plan, communicate and cooperate effectively. Just remember one thing, you are not a machine. Time management is critical in modern era of hard work and multitasking. But if you are tired, sick or burned out, there are no techniques that will help you. Take care of yourself and give yourself a permission to waste some time on things you love and what makes you happy. But try to do it mindfully and get as much out of it as possible.